Hello everyone, what a beautiful day. I love the smell of the air in the spring. However, the purpose of this video is to create a camera slider out of this cabinet roller or a drawer slider. This is a handcrafted fine drawer slider, not really. This is the state of the art drawer slider, not really. However, this is the 22 inch ball bearing drawer slider just an ordinary drawer slider that we are going to use to make our camera slider. For this project, all you need is this drawer slider and one ball head. I'm going to use my old and trusty Canon camera. By the way, if you do not own a 50 millimeter f1.8 Canon lens, I highly recommend it. It takes really great bokeh shots and it's only like $125 or something. The links is in the description. So let's open up our drawer slider. It comes in two parts. For this project, we only need to use one of the sliders and one ball head. Unscrew the bottom plate of the ball head and insert the bottom plate into the drawer slider. Now screw the washer on top of the drawer slider to secure the bottom plate in place. Screw the ball head on top of the washer. The rig is ready. Now screw the camera on top of the ball head and secure the camera in place. So let's test our newly made drawer slider, uh, I mean our new camera slider. I'm surprised it works really well and it is really smooth. I wasn't even expecting it to work this good and it's only $15 camera slider. Let's see what kind of videos do we get with this camera slider. And I'm using an old T2i Canon camera which does not have any in-body image stabilization. And I also turned off the image stabilization on the lens as well to see how smooth of a shot I get with this cabinet roller. It seems to be working really well. I'm really surprised by the shots I'm getting with this. Here are a few caveats and tips. You can only use this on a tabletop or on the ground. It's really hard to use it on a tripod. It is possible to build a stand for this, but it is a little bit more work. Also, I'm using a foam board to protect my table in case the cabinet slider scratches my table. I'm just being extra careful to protect my table. Finally, the ball head actually comes in very handy. You can actually adjust the pitch of your camera and also the rotation of your camera with the ball head and adjust the camera just the way you want it to get that perfect shot. So here you go, a $15 drawer slider turned into a camera slider to take those smooth shots. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that like button. But if you really enjoyed the video and want to see future videos like this one, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in another video.